Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to explore what is a sampling distribution. Alright, so a statistic is a number that describes some characteristic of a sample. A parameter is a number that describes some characteristic of a population. So sample statistic, S with S, population parameter, P with P. We have x bar, which is the sample mean, p hat is the sample proportion, and sx is the sample standard deviation. For the population parameters, we have mu as the population mean, p the population proportion, and sigma the population standard deviation. All right, an example. Identify the population, the parameter, the sample, and the statistic in each of the following settings. A professional photographer is interested in the average number of photographs she took per day last year. She randomly selects 10 days from the year and records the number of photographs she took on each of the 10 days. The average number of photographs she took those 10 days is 831.2 photos. So my population would be all days last year. Uh, mu would be the true average number of photos taken over all days last year. The sample would be the 10 sampled days. Okay, so we sampled 10 days, and then we looked at the thing we were measuring with our statistic, the sample mean number of photos per day, which was X bar 831.2. All right, uh, B, APU Research Center poll asked 202 or 2002 U.S. adults whether they prefer to have a male coworker, a female coworker, or it doesn't matter. Of the respondents, 77% said it doesn't matter. So our population would be all U.S. adults. Um, and my parameter that I'm trying to estimate is the true proportion of all U.S. adults who would say it doesn't matter. Our sample would be the 2002 U.S. adults who participated in the survey. And the statistic is the sample proportion who said it doesn't matter which would be p hat, which is 77% or 0.77. All right, a sampling distribution of a, of a statistic is the distribution of values taken by the statistic and all possible samples of the same size of the same population. So we'll look at an example. There are six employees in a small company. Um, Atsuko, Bernadette, Carlos, DeAndre, Easton, and Freddie. Astuco, Astuco and Bernadette are female and the others are males. List all 15 possible simple random samples of size n equals 4. Calculate the proportion of males in each sample and display the sample distribution of sample proportions in a dot plot. All right, so I'm going to label these A, B, C, D, E, F. I could have A, B, C, D, so we're making groups of four. I could have A, B, C, E. A, B, C, F, A, B, D, E, A, B, D, F, and we're going to just keep going along all of the possible combinations. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit of time when you have four um, to come up with. The smaller your sample size, the easier coming up with all of the possible arrangements are. And then they wanted us to find the proportion that are male. So A and B are female, C, D, E, and F are male, so uh, C and D is 2 out of the 4, which is 0.5 is my sample proportion for that sample. The next one I had 2 males out of 4, so also 0.5. This time I had 3 out of 4, which is 0.75. 3 out of 4 again, 0.75. 3 out of 4 again, 0.75. So I'm going to keep going and calculate the proportion that are male. And then I'm going to make a dot plot. So the proportion of males, I'm going to have 0.5 up to 1. I had, I think it was 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that are 0.5. 8, 8 that are 0.75, and 1 that is 1. So that is my sampling distribution. All right, evaluating a claim. At the end of class, Mr. Etcher allows one student to select a ticket from a shoebox without looking. The tickets are labeled either homework pass or try again. 
Once a ticket is drawn, it is replaced for the next drawing, and the tickets are mixed thoroughly. Mr. Edger claims that the proportion of homework passes in the shoebox is P equals 0.25. At the end of the first quarter, one of the students noted that only six students won in, a, in 50 drawings, so P hat was 0.12. The students were suspicious that less than 25% of the tickets in the box are homework passes. To determine if the sample proportion of P hat is 0.12, provides convincing evidence that the true proportion of homework passes is less than 25%. The class simulated 100 simple random samples of size n equals 50, assuming that 25% of the tickets were homework passes. That is, they sampled a from a population where 25% of the tickets were homework passes. For each sample, they recorded the sample population of homework passes the results are shown in the simulation. So they took a, a population that was made up 25% are homework passes. They randomly selected 50 times and recorded the results. Then they did this many, many times. And this is our sampling distribution. They did 100 times. All right. There is one dot at p hat equals 0 0.38. Explain what this dot represents. So in one simulated simple random sample of size n equals 50, 38% of the tickets were homework passes. Would it be unusual to get a sample proportion of 0.12 or less in a sample of size 50 where p equals 0.25? Well, yes, in the 100 simulated samples, only two of the simple random samples had a sample proportion of 0.12 or less. And based on the actual sample, and your answer from part B, is there convincing evidence that Mr. Escher lied about the contents of the shoebox? So because it is unlikely to get a sample proportion of 0.12 or less by chance alone when P equals 0.25, there is convincing evidence that Mr. Escher lied about the contents of the shoebox. All right, go Seahawks.